I'm in Cedar Creek, Texas, learning to build with Aircrete. And if you just asked, what is Aircrete? You might want to stick around and find out. One of the things that I have wanted to do this year is learn new skills. And since in the future I might be building a tiny home somewhere, I thought that I would learn new skills and new building materials to build with. Something that piqued my interest was on a website called Dome Gaia, where they were learning to build with blocks called Aircrete. And it just so happened that they were having a workshop that I was going to be able to attend. My name's Scott. I'm one of the instructors for Dome Gaia, and I travel around this beautiful planet building dome homes and teaching people how to build dome homes. My name's Gabriel. I also work for Dome Guy. I'm an instructor and I travel with Scott and we teach people how to build Aircrete domes. Aircrete is a lightweight cement based material. So it's pure Portland cement mixed with bubbles. And we make blocks out of it and stack it like an igloo. We stack these gigantor domes like this one right behind us over here. Some of the benefits of working with Aircrete, Scott? Super lightweight. If you were to build a dome like this out of cinder blocks or cement blocks, I mean, obviously it's gonna be super heavy. It's very forgiving. You can cut it with a pruning blade. You use just garden garden tools to cut it. It's very insulative. It's got an R value of somewhere 2.3, 2.5 per inch, something like that. As well as it yields you more material. So if you're using one bag of cement for four blocks, you're gonna get probably 16 blocks using aircrete. So it yields you a lot more material, so it's cost savings in that way. As of right now, we mostly teach other people how to do it themselves. So we teach workshops, as we mentioned, and you can find us at domegaia.com if you want us to come and build for you. Gabe at domegaia.com, <laughs> send me an email. <laughs> and you can look up my Instagram if you like, scott.horine, H-O-R-I-N-E. You can hit me up that way if you want a private build. The Dome Guys will be our future YouTube channel, and then you can follow us on all of our shenanigans and crazy dome building, and it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's great. So this is what it looks like in here when I am on this work site. I have these shoes after work so that I don't drag mud in here, and these for my work. And then my clothes, I'm just going between two <laughs> changes of clothes <laughs> because the materials that we are working with, cement and stucco, just get really dusty. I wish I just would have had some type of overall or mechanic suit that I could just strip off every day. So what I've been doing is just taking my layers off at the door and keeping them there so that they don't get dragged in here. So they offer a 10 day workshop, which includes some on site, like I am, you can either be in a tent or a vehicle. They are preparing to have lodging within a little base camp that they have here. And there is a porta potty. They have some bathrooms in there where you can shower. They offer a meal plan as well. So you can either choose to eat your meals here with a company that they have a relationship with who is providing the catering for the workshop. I opted out of the meal plan, which I'm kind of sorry that I did, but I just did it to save money and I'm cooking in here. So that is the accommodation. And then every day from nine o'clock in the morning, we gather around a circle. They tell us what we're going to be doing that day and we work until about five, sometimes later if we're trying to just finish things up. And every day we learn it and then do it. <laughs> uh, what better way to learn, really? So this is what I look like day six of us building a dome from Aircrete and it's quite the ordeal a lot of concrete a lot of dust but you just wear the same thing over and over so that you get covered in concrete but it's been fun everybody's working hard I wanted to show you the progress on day six 
And again, if you didn't catch it, we are building at a place called The Heavens. Their vision you will see in this video. I've been going on a walk every morning just before everything gets started and get some fresh air in my lungs and some movement besides lifting. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to turn around so you can see the site. So this is what it's looking like. This is a 16 foot dome. We haven't started the dome part up there. So it goes up about nine feet or something like that before it starts curving in. And on either end, there are entrances that are little archways. I've had a hand in doing all of this. It's so fun. And someday it'll be finished like the others you've seen and then furnished and then people can stay. One of the reasons that I like this material and it makes sense for someone like me is how light it is. So these don't weigh very much because part of it is foam. You mix the foam with concrete. So I feel strong. So it's very manageable for someone who is either building on their own or having a few people do it. These kinds of things are very manageable. So this one behind me is more or less the type of structure that we will be building. And eventually these will be accommodations for people to stay in the resort that they're building. And this is what it looks like on the inside as it gets finished. Little rooms going out, little archways and windows. We're also doing a window in the other one. This is just having to keep dust and everything out because it's close to where we're working. And then I guess if you want to heat it, you'll eventually build this out and around that to seal it off to have heat. Let's see. And that's the center of the dome. Interesting. Hi, my name is Dan Mages, and I'm the co-founder of The Heavens here in Austin, Texas. And I'm Will Cabrera, I'm one of the co-founders as well. We're big believers that we should be living in harmony with nature, and so we created this beautiful sanctuary in order to host people and reconnect them with the earth, with the planet, and with themselves. So ultimately, we want healthy food, we want healthy water, or clean drinking water, we want beautiful places to exist in, and so we're doing one of the first and only fork to table, where we're, our own gardens here at the heavens are being used for our farm to table restaurant, and we also have a 200,000 gallon recreational pool with a 12 foot waterfall and we're going to have 12 cabanas and you're going to be served a watermelon cooler from watermelon that we grew on site. And so Roland's been dreaming about this and we've been dreaming about a place where we would want to enjoy and so we're making that uh, accessible to the public. My cousin had purchased it about two, about 20 years ago and um, through the years, uh, the last like, I don't know, maybe five to six years we've been trading emails and text messages about like tiny homes and eco-friendly living and then we came across Dome Gaia about three years ago I believe and followed that whole path and then there was an opening slot in the Alabama workshop uh, two years ago exactly to the month which I attended and met all these wonderful people yeah went from there and learned it all I was already engulfed in construction and all kinds of different uh, trades within that industry so that this I felt like spiritual dome building was definitely one that I could fill in terms of encompassing voids in the industry. I mean we're standing behind a stained glass window that Roland did by hand you know and he's you wouldn't believe it but new to stained glass work but he's actually he's become a master really quick and uh, we're really proud of that and we're, we're trying to emphasize sustainability here at the heavens and uh, we have rain catch systems on every villa, on, on top of the carports. We, each villa is solar powered and we have regenerative agriculture taking place on site. Our pool has aquaponics and it's filtered with algae and plants and we're just really like proud you know, of, of having a, a development that is fully and th thoroughly, totally sustainable. 
we want to model that you know, for the globe. And so we're really looking forward to opening up so people can come and, and spend time with us. Well, we have a website. It's www.theheavensatx.com. So it's Austin, Texas. We have an Instagram, the same. It's The Heavens ATX. And uh, they could reach out to me at theheavensatx at gmail. So uh, any way they want to get a hold of us, we're looking for investors. We're looking for people that want to participate and own the sexiest spiritual resort in Texas. So <laughs> come and join us. That's awesome. Amen. So I hope this encourages you to think outside of the box a little bit and not be afraid to try new things and learn new things and skills. It's been a blast for me. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.